of service members and veterans dying by suicide continues to be a big problem in our nation. The Department of Defense now working with a professor from Arizona State University to better understand the link between suicides, PTSD and sexual assaults. ABC 15's Patrick Hayes explains. More than 30,000 current and former service members have died by suicide since 2001. That's according to a study released last year. Now, experts say some of that could be connected to sexual assault. The next morning, he laughed about it. Navy veteran Dominique Musto says she was sexually assaulted while deployed. And he said, I can't believe you did that. And he told me if I were to speak up, it's not hard to push you over the edge. Musto says she reported what happened, but ultimately no one was disciplined. Her story is not unique. According to the VA, one in four women using VA care has experienced some kind of sexual trauma while serving. One of the things that they said was that's just the norm. That happens, that's part of being a service member. ASU and professor and clinical psychologist mother, Rebecca Blay uh, says a victims of sexual trauma are more likely to die by suicide than those suffering from combat related trauma. And so, you know, folks who are in the military train for combat, that's not to say that it's not traumatizing. I, I think it actually is. And I think it is related to suicide risk, but not in the way that we see sexual violence and racial violence within the military. Four months, she's been working with the Department of Defense to come up with a plan to address sexual assault and suicides. The plan is due at the end of the year and should be made public a couple months after that. I'm definitely hoping that they will see that there is a huge issue. <laughs> a huge issue in the military. For survivors like Musto, she hopes that the new effort will keep others safe. In Phoenix, Patrick Hayes, ABC 15, Arizona.